Gentlemen, our main event of the evening, a 10 rounder for the Pro Box Pacific title. We have Patrick Ferguson, the American versus Panuve Hello, our very own New Zealand talent. I'm Kerry Davis, I'm here with the notorious Chris Martin. Good evening, Chris, how are we doing? Again. This this fight is one that we've looked forward to being the main event, and it's been um, well talked about and promoted around uh, New Zealand, especially for our local boy Panuva Hill stepping up. Yeah, an excellent opportunity for Panuva here to cement himself as a bit more of a household name on yeah, the absolutely. international scene. So, absolutely, um, really good opportunity for him. Times come. Time's come for him to, to do his thing. So, guys, so expecting an explosive fight because both of these guys are known to be knockout merchants. Um, yeah, well, Craig Ferguson has a, he's a very good uh, pedigree, a good amateur background. Uh, he was, uh, you know, he, he achieved a lot within within a couple of years. He'd actually won the uh, US heavyweight amateur title. It was it was the number one and. Uh, he uh, trialled out for the Olympics for the 2016 Rio Games, but uh, missed out on that opportunity, so he turned pro. And since then, he's amassed a, he amassed a very good record, isn't he? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so he's in a 12 and 1, so he's um, he's unbeaten, Patrick Ferguson. And we know we know a lot about Pumbe as well. He's only had the one loss, and he's only he's never been past four rounds. Um, he boasts a record of 10, 1 and 1. Yeah, well, as, as, as we can obviously see, there's a there's a big uh, difference in the reach the reach advantage here, and uh, even I mean Panuvi had a good amateur background too, but you'd have, you'd have to say I mean Craig Craig's Craig's had a had a good backstory. He he um he's a battler, you know. He's overcome so many things and uh, hardships and that in his life, and he's done very very well. He lost his father tragically when he was young, and ended up looking after his mother too who had some health issues and upon all that he's dedicated himself to boxing uh, from from another uh, his, his coach is well known down here in, from Spokane Washington is Chauncey Williver very well known here we go standing for the national anthems now so what you're saying Chris these are two very renowned um, guys that belong on the international stage both come from a really good amateur pedigree and been around a long time and really worked their way up to the top level. Absolutely. So Panuve with the only the one loss, Chris, and that was actually one of your guys, Jordan Tyre, um, a few years back. Chris, we're here filming for um, on it commentating here for Clever Rap. They've actually done a, um, a post with the audience, and so there's a, they've done a poll, and there's 80% um, have this have this fight goes Panuve's way, and 20% for Patrick Ferguson. How do you see the fight going, Chris?
We've done the anthems, we've shown the international flavour of just what's going on here with these two participants, and we know the fireworks are about to start. There we have it. Chris. So we've got the Clap Rap viewers at home have this poll 80% um, going the way of Panube and 20% in the way of Ferguson. How do you see the fight going? Look, on, on paper, on paper I see it a lot more even than that, um, and given Craig's uh, pedigree and background. Uh, without a doubt, Panuvi can punch. He's got he's got thunder in either hand. Um, but uh, in regards to ring experience, Panuvi's never been past four rounds. Uh, there's a few you know, there's a few factors involved that really make this quite an interesting match. The big the big standout for me, Chris, is um, the height and size advantage. Oh, the reach. And if we know Panuvi really. Probably if he's conditioned, he shouldn't be fighting in the cruiserweight division. Um, if Craig, so if Craig, if Craig knows fight. how to exploit that reach, then uh, he's definitely going to—he's definitely going to uh, make things difficult for Panuvi. But Panuvi, he, he switch hits, he, he moves, he's got good timing, he's got good distance. And he's got and, amazing yeah, power, and he knows so what he's doing, and he can punch he's either seen hand. Him with a lots of one-punch knockouts. So we're going to see. We're going to. We're going to see a good spectacle, and this is this is what we've been waiting for. So, Panuve straight away with that left hook, as we expected. Big winding left hook. He switches. He switched already. He's a switch hitter. He does it comfortably from both sides. Really, test, really testing his defense there, Panuvi, but just opening him up, changing levels. Oh, lovely body shot there, beautiful left body grip. Mm. Looking sharp, Panuvi, looking sharp. Yeah, he actually, he's found the mark quicker. He's found his distance a bit, a bit quicker than Craig. He's, not, he's doing well. Patrick is the, um, is the first name, my mistake, sorry. So Panuve's landing about three left body rips there into the um, ribcage of Ferguson, but he hasn't, he hasn't dropped, so he's taken these um, You can see Craig, shots <laughs> early on. well it hasn't, hasn't deterred Craig from still coming forward, the, uh, Patrick from coming forward on the front foot. Yeah, well that's it, yeah, he seems to have, um, so far he's seems resilient to those body shots. Yeah, he's been around. This is the worry, Chris, as well. So Panube doesn't carry the same power as a cruiserweight as he does at light heavy. Well, that's, yeah, that's actually interesting. I mean, interesting question. As the fight unfolds, we're going to see many of those things uh, come to the forefront. Oh. Panube's opening him up quite well. He's oh, placing his shots well. Patrick coming a little bit back now. Craig doesn't look too deterred by uh, Patrick doesn't look too deterred by Panuvi's power at this stage, does he? 
No, he seems to have sucked it up and um, yeah, he's, he's still coming forward. I think Panuve there, he almost looks bemused. He's landing some heavy shots and he's almost surprised. He's like, why is this guy not dropped? Well, he's, he's dropped guys. He's, with, he's, he's used to seeing people used to fall up flies, right. isn't he? Yeah. Especially with those body shots. But as you, as you said, this, this is a step up. It's international cruiserweight. It's a, it's, a, it's a whole new level for him. It's a step up in size, step up in pedigree. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, and it's going to be interesting to see how Panube goes to see whether he, um, you know, if he, well, he's not just blowing his man out there instantly, how he goes when the rounds go on. Good well, opening round, though. Do first that, you know, one's in the book. Is, is that how you thought it was going to go that first round? Yeah, I, I would, I'd say, you know, scoring it from a judge's perspective, I'd, I'd give Panuve the round in regards to, I think he made the significant punches uh, at that stage. Uh, Patrick wasn't phased. But I, I do think Panuve possibly controlled a little a little more. The way he landed was a little more significant. Changed levels quite well and uh, opened up. Yeah, I opened up Patrick. Patrick, Patrick wasn't deterred. Yeah, I thought it was a fantastic round for Panuve. Um, to personally, I as expected, he's came out fast and strong. Um, he hasn't blown his opponent away, so he, he hasn't got the early knockout, which he, he has done a lot of his career. Um, and Patrick so far looks pretty resilient, and he yes, looks he like he's not going to get blown away easy. So no, he can tell his season. Yeah. 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 I agree. It's, it could be in for a long evening. Yeah, well, this is this is going to test uh, Panuvo's resolve as well. As you said, he's hit him with he's hit him with good shots, and the guy's still standing in front of him. No, he's just standing in front of him. He's he's coming right yeah. back at him. And now he's looking a little bit more adventurous. This second round, it looks like he's going to try and pose some of his own work. So it'll be a, it'll be a test for Panuvo to keep finding ways and options. Oh, he takes oh, here we go. Both guys trading now. Patrick decides to just come forward himself. Very early, very early a 10 round title fight to be actually testing the water so quick like that. And in regards to like. Both guys letting off their power. Both guys are power punches, so they'd be used to watching guys drop in front of them. And both of them um, getting their shots off early on. See, Craig, Craig's not making, not making, not exploiting that reach advantage, uh, Patrick, is he? I mean, he's, he's standing right he's in the pocket, toe to toe with, yeah. with with the shorter man, and he's he and he's. To like to trade, yeah. But he's wearing he's wearing the, he's wearing clean shots through doing it. Ten, he's got ten rounds to uh, you know take control yeah, of this yeah, fight. Yeah. So it's quite interesting how it's Panuvi possibly has pulled him into the um into he's his him game. Into a fight, yeah. Fantastic fight so far for the viewers, though, Chris. Well, they they started they started firing they started firing bombs really early, very early. And Patrick's doing the mauling, shutting him down, the mauling, grabbing situation. They're the pro, do they? Oh. just trying to get him to walk onto that backhand. A brilliant counter left hook. It was a very good left hook. He just walked right onto it. Patrick's just leaving himself vulnerable. He doesn't like seem to be bothered. He's coming into a range where he doesn't need to be. No, he doesn't he? need to be. Especially not, not, not on this stage. Round two of a 10 round five. He doesn't need to be testing his chin quite so readily and quite so early. He's, he's almost coming in with his head low. The sort, sort of style the shorter man should be doing. He's actually, he's actually walking right into Panube's zone, right into his range. And that's where Panova needs to be, it wants to be, and he's kind of he's kind of obliging him. Mate. <clears throat> but obviously, I'd say he's looking to bring the pressure. Is it an ego thing again, Chris? Because it being a puncher himself, he's probably thinking, you know, get in there, and he's probably felt a few heavy shots. He wants to get his own back as such. But he says a clever tactic would be to keep his range. Well, he's wanting to, he's just wanting to bring the pressure. He's felt he's probably, I'd say, he's tasted what Panova's got on offer. Yeah, maybe he's involved yeah. in him, so he's gonna he's gonna try and walk through him. Interesting to see, interesting to see if the strategy pays off for him. Panuvi's still landing the good, the better shots. In the round two, yeah. So, to me, a closer round there, Chris Patrick coming forward yeah. a lot more, yeah. trying to impose yeah. his own um, power, his own strategy. But like you said, he's walking into, he's walking onto shots there, isn't he? Yeah, he doesn't. Round two of a ten-round title fight doesn't need to be uh, quite so eager to. To stand in front of Panuve and take the shots. Yeah. 
as you can see, Patrick's taken some good shots. Panubi's land is, you know, that's interesting how the judges will see that round. But first and foremost, with, so Panubi doesn't look like he's going to blow him away early, like no. some predicted. Um, so it could be a long night for him. So, like you said, we're going to have to see. He's going to be tested for his endurance, yes, yes. tested like, down the line, which is which is what we needed to see from Panubi, really. You know, he's it's all part of the thing, season. It's yes. one thing blowing away these easy opponents, but um, this is a real test for him. Very much a live opponent, and. And, and regardless of the reach advantage, Petrick wants to fight in the pocket and he wants yeah. to be on that front foot. Patrick again tries to impose himself and take the centre of the ring, being the bigger man. Nothing, nothing wrong with controlling the centre of the ring, but he's, he's actually he's leaving himself on it. We're just walking onto shots and Panuvi is timing and he's still seeing it. So no, Patrick's unbeaten um, Chris, so he's 12 and 1. Panuve's 10, 1 and 1. Did he actually get stopped by Jordan Tyre? Um, yes, he did. He did in the third round. So he, so he has been stopped. Yes, he, he, um, he, he was winning the fight. He was out boxing Jordan, but he, he traded with Jordan and didn't uh, yeah. see that. Look what we're just seeing here. Panuve's hurt him. Panuve has, has a massive uppercut. Huge uppercut from Panuve. Cool. And he goes to work. Fantastic work from Panuve. You say Patrick just leaving his head there in the pocket for no apparent reason. Taking, um, he doesn't need to take this punishment. He's got a huge range and he's leaving himself in the pocket and he's getting punished. Well, Panuvi's he's lining him up. He's, he's, seeing the, he's seeing the shots. He's got the timing and the distance. And he's, he's actually Panuvi's in a position where he can just place the power shots because he's got the speed to do so. He looked to definitely hurt him there, didn't he? Oh, and there again, it is again. Look at right hand. Can he follow it up? Good boy. This is a real fight, Chris. Oh, those uppercuts slamming flush again. Three in a row. Patrick has got the wrong strategy. Oh, solid bombs being wrong thrown, strategy. Chris. Bombs being thrown. Patrick's not working to his strength. He's making. He's, he's really. He's really walking onto those shots. Yeah, he's making it easy for Panuvo. Look oh, at him. He's just standing there all day. He's launching that right uppercut. Well, he's found a home for it. He knows oh, he can and land he it. Switches to southpaw and goes again for the back uppercut. This is, this is very impressive from Panuve, Chris. Very impressive. I'm not sure what, what, what Patrick's thinking. Patrick's but he's walking it, forward. Look at that, just walking onto the uppercuts. Look at that. Oh! He's definitely felt that power, Chris. He holds. He's felt that power. Is he going to get him out of here, Chris? He's not far, but look, he's, he's holding on. Patrick's Those holding on. Ferguson's holding on. landing at will. Oh, he's going to get him out of there, Chris. Big shots landed, big shots landed. And he answers straight back. This guy loves, he's got the reach advantage, the height, the experience, and he wants to fight in a phone booth. I'm not quite sure what his strategy was going into this fight. He's got his tactics all wrong. Absolutely, 100%. He couldn't be, he couldn't be playing into Panuva's hands anymore. He's going to get through the round. Making it so just, difficult for himself. It, he got significantly hurt. End of the round, wow. I could even see, I could even see possibly the judges, judges just going to tier eight round for total dominance in that fight, even though no one was he dropped. He was landing those uppercuts at will, wasn't he? He was just mm. sitting there, just sitting duck for those big uppercuts. Wow, well, big Petr round for Petr Petr Petrick hasn't been changing it up. He's been um, doing exactly the same thing forward. over. Walking, walking forward. Walking forward with his head low, and, not and moving his head. No, he's not giving it. Charging him. forward. And he's um, and he know Panuvo knows it. it's just there that those punches, whatever he wants, yeah. it's there for him all day long. The uppercut, the hook, the overhand, they're all there. If you know, you know, um, Panuvo's weak. If he's got a weakness, you know, it's going to be his fitness and conditioning. So Ferguson should be moving. Shouldn't that's it? that's moving. going to be the condition. I'm not sure what um, Patrick's work. Patrick's corner are going to advice are going to give him, but um, yeah. I'd, I'd be yeah. suggesting to start sticking and moving. Start Let's sticking and moving. I'll be very surprised if he doesn't push because this. Um, yeah, that was kind of shocking. Well, he's, he's, um, he was hurt. Panubi's got the speed and timing to make him pay for that. Are you saying, Chris, that Ferguson should sit back on the back for a little bit and make Panubi come to Absolutely. him? Absolutely. Use his jab. Use his reach. I mean, why, why are you going after the shorter guy? Start, start fainting a little, start fainting a little, making Panubi not, not, so he's not so predictable. You know, do a few offbeat punches and movements. So, because Benuti can read him all day, he's, just, he's not exactly what he's going to throw, and he's just he's, he's countering. 
because he knows it's easy to get hurt. Petra's got to change it up a little bit. He, he looks a little more cautious. I'd say his corners had a... More cautious. He's definitely hurt that last round. Yeah, his corners had a definite talk to him. Yeah. But does he not look... A, does he look right? Because I don't know if he looks, still looks a little bit unsettled from that last round. His, his legs look... Now, now he's starting to box. And start off the... Off, keep the range a little bit. His legs look all right under him. He looks quite stable, but he was definitely hurt. So look, Panube just waiting for him to walk on something again. He there is. he goes, he's waiting for him to walk onto those uppercuts. Because Panube's got the time and he's, he's allowing yeah. Patrick to do the work for him. Yeah, Patrick's not making Panube work to find to land the shot. Yeah. He's just coming forward almost in one pace. And like you say, Panube's timing is so good that he's, um, he's just waiting to drop something, isn't he? See, timing, just oh, once, once again, beautiful timing from Panuvi. They are, they are well-educated punches. Clean Fantastic. shots. Nice upper body movement from Panuvi there, evading well. And he switches again. Pace has slowed down a little. This is it, Chris. It's a 10 round fight, so things can change, you know, yes. depending on fighters' conditioning. That's um, why I was, I was quite surprised with Patrick's strategy. Yeah. That's the thing. If you, if you change your strategy, stop boxing a little bit clever, things could change. But um, that was disastrous for him the last couple of rounds. I agree. I've got Panuvi ahead. Now, as I said, if the judges could, because of the dominance in that last round, it could give the TN8 round. You don't have to, you don't have to, in pro boxing, you don't have to drop a man to get a TN8 round only. If there's complete, like, dominance and hit several times as it was, yeah. they, could, they could lean that way. This round's evened up a little. That just comes with coming back now. Is this a, um, case of Panube slowing down, or? And what the hell is that a lot more of an even round? Yeah, yeah, that one evened out. That one evened out. It's... As the rounds go, Panuvi possibly wins to see if he loses his pop. Yeah. But he still he still lands some very nice clean punches that were. It's always a shame to see that, Chris, when you see a fighter with such ability and then they're, they're kind of doing themselves an injustice because of their condition is not right. You know, you, you, it's so frustrating to watch you. Like if, it, if he's as sharp as he was in the first couple of rounds the whole way through, that's right. Well, unstoppable. well, we're heading into we're heading into new territory here because Panuvi has never been past four rounds in his career. We're coming halfway through this bout. We're in the fifth. The mid midway of the fight, fifth round. Yeah. It's the first. This is the first for Panuvi. Not only is his first, it's first with an opponent of this caliber as well. Yeah. So we're, it's going to be interesting to see. He's going to get. He's going to get tested we're here find tonight. Out how, how much he's trained for this right. fight, Chris, and, and how much prep he's done. That last round evened out. It possibly even, could yeah. have gone. Could have gone Patrick's way, but I'll be very disappointed if Panuvi um, conditionally lets him down. But um, we'll see how we go. You'd like to see Patrick varying things a little, just just yeah. just to make it. Uh, it's not so easy to read. Is his strategy maybe Patrick's? Does is he has he questioned Panuve's conditioning, and is he just kind of work weight, just come forward and uh, uh, out hustling, out working? He nearly paid it, for it. It, the first it would appear so. It would appear he's just been given the ticket to go, to, just to go and burn and, this, to yeah. take, just break this kid down. Like you said, in a ten-round fight, it's a good tactic for later in the fight, but he, he did it a bit early, didn't he? Surprised to see him though, it was almost like round two. He was he, he was trying to get Panuvi out of there. Panuvi seems to have slowed a little, Chris. Yeah, he does a little, he'll slow down. It's like it sits at this. Some psychological things will be happening now as well for Panuvi, having, having yeah, that's right. gone this far, this distance. Yeah. Like, I've hit this guy with shots. He's hit him with everything he's had. Guys to that's sleep. right. And he's still in front of me. And he's still in front of me. And he's, he's still here. in front of me for a few that's right. minutes. Can he just sit on a rope? He now? can't sit there too long. He's going to have to fight. He's going to have to fire back. But this referee's looking. The referee's looking. I think no. Panuvi's actually got hurt a little. It would appear. He's going to have to fire back. The ref's looking closely. Indication. He's probably. I'd, I'd say he's having a rest behind his defence. 
But he looks, he's looking very tired. Is he having a rest and he's going to come with a burst and try yeah, and... You'll, you'll see it. There yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, you'll see it. There we go. There we go. It seems he's having a little rest for us. Yeah. I don't think I don't think he was playing possum. I think it was just it was strategic. Just strategic, or do you yeah. think he just actually needed a rest? No, I think he was. He's, he's breathing quite heavy there, giving yeah. his gas back. So I, th I think it was strategic. I really hope he's conditioned for the ten rounds. Yeah, there was a lot of things going on like that. Okay. There's what going on for your first time. There's almost like a, a subconscious aspect of that you're aware you haven't gone this distance before, and it can make you a little conservative without even, without even realizing it. I've had a number of fighters do the first title in ten rounds, and they they say that. Yeah. <clears throat> they get to like round ten, to eleven, or twelve, and they realize that oh, I have got the gas. I need I need to do I need to pick this up. Yeah, Ferguson's just mauling him, just bringing the pressure. Oh, good shot from uh, did land some nice clean work. The good work from him. He's starting to find him spots, whereas, whereas Patrick is a little more consistent with the pressure that he's bringing. Patrick is just coming forward and just letting his hands go. Um, it doesn't seem to have the same pop as Panuve, but um, just more, just higher volume of punches. Yeah, and as the rounds go, the Panuve will lose a little more of the pop, and his, and his timing will, will yeah, mature a little bit. He's always, he's, only, he's always got to punch his chance. He's already proven he can hurt Patrick. That's oh, it. That's it. Ooh, that, right on the bell. That hit him. That, did hurt him. that, that hit him. That one, right on the bell, too. So what we saying there, would that be the first one there, Chris, that you potentially give to Ferguson there? Um, other than that, all the other rounds to Canube? No, you'd have to, you'd have to give um, Patrick that round clearly. Yeah. yeah. I think what, what possibly we're going to see here is um, Panuba is going to start fighting in spots, yes. and it's just the question will be is that in those spots can he can he do the damage and can he hit him and, and, and find the mark and put him away? Otherwise, yeah. the points decision with the work rate the pressure Ferguson's bringing it's 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 going to be hard for Panuba to catch up. Yeah. yeah. If it carries on like that one, like you say, then so at the minute we go Panuba maybe three rounds to one up. Sorry, um, four rounds to one up. Yeah. The, the, the round before, round four was sort of even out a little bit too. But if, you, if you're looking yeah. for those clean significant shots, the judges are going to going to like Panuve, what Panuve is doing. Sometimes I like to see, now, given the fact that even as there's a reach, reach disparity, I think Panuve could actually could time him with some clean shots off the back foot. Oh, Panuve poking his tongue out now. Yeah, Seems okay. to be enjoying himself in there, goading him in. Well, he could, as I said, off the back foot. With Panuvi's got the harder punch, he could actually start timing Patrick and hurting him. Oh, he gets caught with the first right hand there. Normally, uh, with, with such a reach advantage, a strategic strategy wouldn't be to fight off the back foot. But in this situation, Panuvi can walk him onto some you know, serious artillery. There it is. Beautiful uppercut straight away. <laughs> oh. Patrick's, Patrick's just there. Oh, ah, there it is. Good oh, shot. That was him. it. He's wobbling his legs are gone. That was it. He's definitely hurting there. He's hurt him. He's wow. Hurt him. Patrick's experience. He's trying to hold. Panube's going for the finish. Panube's got to be careful. Oh, Panube's got to be careful here because he got to be careful because he could gas himself. Wow. Now that's. Yeah. Fantastic uppercuts, Chris. That Switching was, stance, backhand uppercuts. Beautiful to watch. That was a Ferguson's done this. He still seems to be there, but his legs definitely went. He did. He hit him. Panuva's Panuva really proved. He's still got. He's still. He's still got the pop. Those uppercuts are landing so flush. Oh, oh big right. Yeah. Big right. Those uppercuts are so on point. Panuva's daring him to come in. Daring him because he's dropping his hands. He's putting his thing in his chin there. He's willing him to come in because he knows he, knows. he, knows he can walk him on and yeah, hit him anytime he wants. That's out, right. Yeah. Why doesn't Patrick just take a few steps back, get on his jab, give himself some breathing space? I'm not sure. But as you can see, Pan Panubi spent a lot of energy in that last uh, exchange. Because he, he, he showed experience how first and now how he held there and he held on and survived. But again, why, why does he keep coming forward? 
you're getting hit with big bangs, you know, move back, get on your jab, keep your range and give yourself a, a breather from those big shots. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? With such, such a reach advantage and, and we've got the shorter man uh, doing the damage off the back foot. Yeah, bizarre. <coughs> Walking him back on there. That's Penevi Shans of Redcraft there. He kept him on his heels. Walked him back. He's tired though as well, Chris. Yeah, he is. He is. He's spent. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's Ferguson spent. coming back. Oh, what a round. What a round. That was a good round. Very good round. And the fans are getting their money's worth here. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you'd have to give, you'd have to give yeah. that round to Penevi. That yeah, was another sure dominant he round. Uh, he got him out there, Chris, but he hasn't got him out there, has he? He's Ferguson, uh, no, Ferguson worked his way back into the fight. From He came back from death's doorstep. He's, he's tough. He's very tough. He's shown that he's tough for sure. Um, hasn't ever been stopped. Um, very nearly did there, though. Very nearly. He's tough. Wow, exciting fight, Chris. I say no, it so was. Panuvi, Panuvi nearly hit him out. Say, but still, Panuvi's never been this far. He's, how's his conditioning going to go, you know? And Patrick, if anything, he looks like he's going to bring it all night, doesn't he? He's well, not going to stop. Well, we've seen here, too, the resilience that Panuvi can take a shot. Yeah. He's taking, he's taking uh, Patrick's best punches. He's still here. And Panuvi has never looked hurt at any point. Once again, standing right in front of him on that front foot, Ferguson just wants to fight in the phone box. Both boys love to just stand there and trade. Because if you've got powerful hands, Chris, and a good chin, it's hard not to stand there and just slug it out. But um, the corner man should definitely be advising Patrick there to uh, keep his range a bit more. That's right. Just make it easier for himself, you know? Well, Panubi's taking punches he doesn't need to take. He, he could be keeping his hands up a little more and planting his feet even. He doesn't watch out. He's going to get... The ref's going to start looking soon. He looks very tired. His feet are not moving, Chris. Um, no. He's stuck there on the ropes way yeah, too long. He needs to move his head. Move, move. He's, he has to tie him up or throw he him back. He needs to move. If he doesn't do something oh, soon, this get fight's going to get stopped. He's going to get stopped, Chris. He's not he's throwing got a, back. He's, he's not throwing back. No, nah, it's going to get stopped. Oh, hold, geez. hold. Tie him up. If he doesn't tie him up or throw, this big. ref, the ref's looking closely. The ref's looking closely. I don't think it's... That's a lot of unanswered shots, Chris. That's a lot of unanswered shots. He has seen Panubi oh. come back, though. No, 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 no. It's, it's, over. It's, over. it's over. It's over. It's over. Wow. How it turns around, wow. The ref had no choice there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. looked like he'd, uh, he'd emptied the tank, actually, to be honest. He looked like he emptied the tank. And the... Um, he didn't have anything to fire back. He didn't offer any resistance. There for, um, for the chin of Patrick, really. You know, he's, he's withstand, he withstood the storm and then came back and just his conditioning got him through. Well, that's the thing with professional boxing. You know, you've got you've got ten rounds, twelve rounds to figure things out, uh, regroup. Yeah. And uh, Panu up to that point, I would have had Panuvi hit on the scorecard. Oh, way ahead, yeah, way ahead, and nearly would have stopped him. But you say sometimes talent and power is not enough. You know? You've got to be conditioned to last the ten. No, nah, you did. It was a. That, it was just a. It was just a, it was just a classic case of the, of the conditioning. That's simply all it was. Yeah. Panuvi proved that he deserved to be there. He also proved that he. Um, he, more, yeah, he was the bigger more, puncher. More than deserved to be there, like you say. But um, yeah, that's that's the difference between the uh, top level conditioning and, yeah. and top level ability. Interesting. Good fight though, Chris. Very intriguing fight. Very well, we're just waiting the final um, results to be announced. <laughs> yeah, it was the, uh, and, and you're going to have to say, I, I, I mean, the ref gave Panuvi every chance. Every, every chance, chance to yeah. tie him up, every chance to throw back. Yeah. Uh, and there's, uh, Panuvi had emptied his tank. Yeah, he did. He did say he, he wanted it out the knee. He could have, I would like to see him held a bit more, but that's what, that's when the shoe was on the other foot the round before that's what Patrick did he held yeah, yeah. and he survived he survived he got through the round there. that's right but, um, 
Yeah, but over there. I'm not going to say quitting his corner, but like you say, he'd emptied his tank and um, didn't have anything more to give. It's just a case of, yeah, run out of, run out of gas. He um, Panibi showed what he, you know, his, his real learning curve in this fight. He might, he might seriously look at trying to get back down to light heavyweight. Yeah. Uh, where, where he, um, where you can see, you can see how strong and how um, dangerous he'd be at that weight. Yeah. But it's still, yeah. as I said, yeah. here come the official results. Yeah. Another one in the books for Patrick Ferguson. Very resilient. And, uh, I can see. So it's, yeah. And as we talked about before, Kerry, um, as we said, what Muhammad Ali said, Will beats the skill at times. Exactly right. Yeah. That is a typical case of that one. Frustrating to watch, like I said. I really like Panuba. I think he's got amazing talent. But on that international oh, yes. level, you've got to be internationally conditioned. Uh, Panuvi, Panuvi displayed his talent. He showed what he can do and he showed what he's capable of. Technically, actually, Panuvi was a better boxer. Yep. But as we said, uh, Patrick, Patrick had the will, he had the desire, he had the conditioning, he had the drive. And uh, on the night, that took the victory. And again, realistically, I'm quite, he's a bigger man, isn't he, Chris? He's a bigger guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know. I'm saying that Panuvi, Panuvi hit him, but he was able to. He's able to regroup and come back. But if, if, actually, interesting going forward, if you're going to be thinking about Patrick with some of the guys he's going to be fighting. You've got to think about his, sometimes his strategy and his, his fight plan yes, in the ring. Sure. Yeah. He's going to—he's leaving himself open for a lot of punishment yeah. that he probably doesn't necessarily even need to exactly take. Right. Yeah. Uh, he's got—he's got a nice reach there. He's got good skills, nice jab. Yeah. But he wants to—he wants to go toe to toe. Yeah, he, he would have learned a lot from that fight as well. Seven good rounds in the back of him, he would have learned a lot from that. Yes, he would. Well, and, interestingly enough, actually, in his very first amateur fight in the ring, Petra got knocked out. Yeah. He got knocked out, but he came back. But um, there it is. It's in the books. Uh, a great, great display of skill and, and, and boxing from Panuve. And um, Patrick showing the heart and the will and uh, overcoming Panuve Heli to win the professional boxing cruiserweight title. Awesome, nice work, Patrick. I found it pretty equal at the early days. I'm guessing there's levels to this shit. How comfortable did you feel? One more time. There's levels to this shit. So it felt like it was pretty even in the early days, uh, in the first couple of rounds, but you came back strong. Oh, thank you. So how was the training camp working up to this? Oh, the training camp? Oh, you know, it's, it's always, uh, it's, it's uh, grueling. Always, yeah. But it's worth it, but it's worth it. You got the payoff? Almost definitely. Yeah, because it wouldn't be worth it to go home empty-handed. Yeah, no, definitely. I saw a couple of, you know, good work rate, some some solid shots being landed. Did you feel comfortable all the way through? Um, I felt pretty good. He, he, he did some slick stuff sometimes, threw me off a little bit, but I felt good. Nice, oh, awesome. I saw your mouth guard get popped out. I thought he nearly had you, but you came back stronger. I probably counted about 40 unanswered shots. Okay. Was that just what you were just, you saw something? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I, I, I saw my opening, and when I had the chance, I took it. Who would you like to thank? Who's been the supporters? Oh, um, my whole team. Um, my girlfriend, Megan Lopez, and uh, the Lopez family. And, uh, yeah, my whole boxing team, definitely. Awesome. Something I've always wanted to ask, I'm guessing it's hotter in the USA. Is New Zealand a colder climate? Do you like, do you like fighting in a colder climate? You know, um... I, I, I don't matter. It doesn't matter too much as long as I can get adjusted. But yeah, I love it here. It's cool, but you guys got palm trees up, so you know. 
Isn't awesome. So you fought out of the States a couple of times? I fought in Ghana before, or, uh, yeah. Which has been... You know what? I like the crowd. I like what I, I like where they're loud at. So when they when they when they're loud here, I like that. So you were able to feed off it. There was no hometown advantage. There was no pressure. You just got stuck in. Nothing swayed you. You had good composure. Yeah, I, I think so. What do you think? I saw there was levels. It was going back and forth. But you came back strong. Nice work, man. Thank you. I look forward to the play today, baby. Okay. Alright. Okay. 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 Okay.